Extreme Cleanup is two things for me. It's both an invitation to the Quad Cities to come out, pick up, uh, drag out and haul away thousands of pounds of unwanted trash in our waterways. And the second part of Extreme Cleanup is our response to that. Every year we get, we average over the last nine years, 1,500 people that come out and, and pick it up and remove it, and Quad Cities gets a lot done. I think it's fun. I think it's result oriented, but I also think the bigger picture, it's about taking pride in your community. And uh, not only do I see an impact, but lots of people see the difference from what it was 10 years ago. We've moved almost a million pounds, so it's pretty exciting. I'm from Clinton, Iowa. I grew up on the Mississippi River, and you know, it's always been a source of pride for people in my family and for the community as a whole. So when I had an opportunity to get involved in Extreme Cleanup, it was something that I really wanted to do. It's kids' faces, proud of what they picked up and amazed at what they see being thrown away. It's parents uh, proud of the experience their children had in environmental uh, education or environmental positive experience. It feels good because, you know, we are keeping the earth clean and on the other aspect of it, I'm teaching my kids to volunteer your time to do good things for the earth and you know, to keep it clean for when they have children and their children have children. Mm -hmm. Somebody came and said, hey, we got a large group of students that want to participate. Could we do something on Duck Creek? It was so successful in Duck Creek, I thought maybe we just create one opportunity for everybody to go and, and clean up by their home, where they live, in the creek, in the ravine. And so that's how it kind of, that's how the extreme cleanup was sort of born. The beauty and the, the brains of it uh, is the Waste Commission of Scott County. They really are the organizing group that uh, puts it all together. Our community turnout is awesome to this. I mean, we have so many volunteers that come out and they all work hard and they work as a team and we pull in quite a few bags. You know, when I think of water quality, I must think of the recreational aspect of it, you know, and that, you know, this is a fun place and, and as long as, and we fish out of it and we eat those fish. and. You know, so it's something that we use every day. So you know that water is important to us. You know, for a lot of reasons. If one enjoys fishing in clean, healthy water, or in splashing and swimming in it, if one uh, finds value in uh, goods being transported uh, through uh, clean waters, uh, then there's a reason to support the effort that we do. This waterways look better uh, thanks to our efforts, and uh, and really, to me, the big thing at the end of the day is the pride. It's been a pleasure doing this. It's really enjoyable. The people that I've met throughout the process, and just that we are making an impact in an area that was really neglected for a long time. And you know, so I hope to do in the future. I hope we can find other sites, and I also hope we can build awareness. I remember when I was younger, going camping with my mom, going camping with my dad, or you know, doing things outdoors. And if we don't continue to keep the earth clean, we're not going to have that option for my grandkids and my great grandkids. It's a lot of work from a lot of people, but. It's all about teamwork. And the bottom line is Extreme Cleanup's fun and you produce a lot of results. Like you walk away feeling like I made a difference, I made the community a better place.